Good morning, guys. It is 7.30 in the morning. It's still dark out here. And we're getting ready to go to Mackinac Island. This is gonna be a little different video. I'm gonna vlog it, and we're gonna have some coffee when we get up to the island at some point. So let's get up there first. I gotta drop the kids off and pack my stuff. And we gotta take a ferry once we get to Mackinac City, get to the island, and find a cool place to hike up and make some coffee. So, follow along. So, I'm not packing a whole lot here. Coffee mug, maybe one lens, I'm not sure. I might just do everything with this 20 that's on here right now. Uh, we've got the kettle, we've got the propane, we've got the jet boil, we've got the V60 holder with a couple of filters, scale, uh, some camera straps, and the hand grinder. And that's about it. So we'll see how this does. <laughs> Okay, before we get on the road, um, I guess I should just say that we often like to go to Mackinac Island just to visit. Um, it's really cool sites, there's a lot of history to the island, uh, but it's also very picturesque. And as a photographer, I love going, taking the camera, uh, and just taking pictures. And it's, what, October 26th today, something like that, so the fall colors should be peaking. We're gonna try and hike up to the island to get a, get a nice view of all the colors, um, and just have some lunch. and. Put, uh, put some steps under our feet with some nature surrounding us, so it should be fun. I'm gonna make some coffee when we get to a cool spot and uh, kind of chronicle the journey along the way. So time to pack up into the car. It's getting brighter out, so time to go. We made it with about 10 minutes to spare before we get on the ferry, so we better hurry up before we miss the boat. Good morning and welcome aboard the Captain Sheffler for your trip to Mackinac Island. Also folks, wind and sea conditions we have on the lake today, we do ask everyone to remain seated throughout the duration of our trip this morning. The most comfortable ride is as far back in the main cabin as possible. Thank you. Wanna to go to lunch? Get 
nachos. Thank you. What did you think of lunch? Not bad. All Pretty right. good. Onion rings were slamming. Okay, so I know you're looking for the coffee. It's coming. First, I want to introduce you to my wife, Lisa, and she's gonna tell you a little bit about the island and why we're here, because I think to add a little bit of context to why this is a travel -y video, I know it's coffee anywhere, so this kind of fit, fits, the, fits the motif, but uh, we'll uh, talk about that real quick. We're on the island today to kind of show what we would usually do in a day and brew some coffee with you. We do a lot of hiking when we're here. It's kind of our favorite thing to do. We're not much on the townspeople end of things. So we're gonna go to one of our favorite places and brew some coffee where the colors are really gonna pop. I think I found the spot, but we've got a nice overlook of downtown Mackinac Island. Found a tree stump over there. We'll brew some coffee on right there. Um, and I guess I should just kind of reiterate the point of this video series uh, titled Coffee Anywhere. Um, I guess it's an excuse to make content while I'm out and about. Um, I typically like to do a lot of nature photography, so this is a good reason for me to kind of keep everything out and record what I do and kind of also just make it clear that if you want really good coffee, you can have it basically anywhere with just a few things like the, the jet boil, the AeroPress, or some of the other stuff I've featured before. Um, you're not limited to grabbing a cup of Starbucks or something on the way to whatever your destination is, you can make it anywhere. So, let's brew some coffee.
Well guys, I think that about wraps it up. Got the point across. You can have coffee anywhere. You can have good, you can have great coffee anywhere. Um, today, I chose to use the V60 filter holder um, with the Hario hand grinder. Um, and I was able to make coffee for two. 25 grams. Uh, I used a Brazil Fazenda that I roasted uh, three days ago now. And it's great, it's really good and we get this amazing view to go with it. So, thanks for coming to watch this video. Appreciate you being here. Hope you learned something. Hope the sights were pretty. Drop a like for me, I'd appreciate it. I work hard on these videos. Subscribe for me if you like this content. Um, and uh, if you're sad that you don't get to see the rest of the island as we come back off and go back to the mainland, well, you can watch this video in reverse, minus lunch. And that's basically it. So, see you in the next one. Say bye. Bye. Wow.